Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and welcome to another Spyro video. This time it is Spyro 2, and Spyro 1, and Spyro 3. I'm going to be showing off something incredible. What you're seeing right now is essentially the closest thing we could get to Spyro in HD. Now, I won't call it next gen, um, but it is using a similar sort of process to a video done by Retroix, who recently uh, has been showing off this type of thing. Now, what we've basically done is we've implemented a widescreen patch. Now, when I say we, I really shouldn't say me. It's actually by this guy named Abus. Um, I'm gonna link his YouTube channel in the description and his name there so you can see him. I'm not quite sure if he was 100% the guy that actually designed all of this, but I know that he, he's compiled this for me and hopefully uh, you guys will be able to download this, try it out for yourself. There's, it's fairly simple to get working. I had to do a few tweaks, um, a few tweaks of my own to get it to work, but I'll give you both my copy and his and see which one works. I would suggest using his first because He's the expert here. Now, look firstly, okay, the one thing you have to notice is that if you no notice how these items disappear, that's because they're not registered on the map yet. Because of these extra, basically extra pixels on the screen, we are seeing um, what we're not meant to be seeing. So that's why that happens. However, so if you look at that, it is a bit glitchy. But honestly though, I mean, playing this in widescreen and not actually having Spyro be really like fat, essentially, is truly incredible. Uh, and also, I've also, thanks to this emulator, I've also been able to uh, add some bit more vibrance to the game. Notice how like Spyro is quite beautifully colored here. This is actually, this actually looks phenomenal. It's essentially like applying a Photoshop filter to the game. So instead of doing this within, um, Instead of doing this within Vegas to make your video look nice or, or you know, Premiere or whatever editing program you use, you're basically, you're using the game itself, using the emulator itself is source footage is being, you know, the source image is being altered thanks to reshade and I think it's like, yeah, shade FX or something like that. Uh, you'll see it in the description, all that. Now, um, on top of that, it's very, it's actually mainly enjoyable if you use, um, what's the word, like if you use a different, uh, like if you're playing it on the computer, but there's actually a very subtle film effect. Um, the film effect that's enabled actually is glitchy for me, but yeah, this film effect looks pretty good. Like it's very subtle. In fact, it could be a little bit more even, in fact, because it's hard to see from here, but honestly, I really like it. I really like the way this, this game looks. Um, yeah, truly some fantastic stuff. Now, I'm not a massive fan of this. See this pixelation here? This is essentially trying to smooth it out. I'm, to be honest, I'd probably prefer the original. The original. This is more just a smoother test. I think what where this looks better is in the this draw distance. Draw distance wise, this feels better with the, the addition of the film grain and just everything. It feels like it's sort of more smooth. When you get to this, it's a bit glitchier, but yeah, I think this as an option, you guys probably like what you see here. Maybe this is a little bit too exposed, but again, um, you know, you can actually play with these settings yourself by editing the uh, one of the files in the description. Um, I'll post his instructions as well, so you can see that I'll post from our messages. But uh, let's head on off to Spyro 1, shall we? Artisans in widescreen. Isn't that fantastic? Look at that. Absolutely beautiful as the game lags out. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, Artisans looks fantastic. And I just love the extra, the extra resolution is fantastic. If only there was a way to edit the, basically give the game more VRAM, then we'd be able to actually, uh, you know, it wouldn't be such an effort to, you know, get all this thing, these things on the screen at once. But the fact that we can do this technology wise is impressive. Emulation is a fantastic tool. Um, in fact, Spyro 1 feels a bit laggier than Spyro 2 in terms of recording. I don't know if that's just the game not being able to process the frames as well or whatever, but uh, let's go to let's go to darker. Let's go to a darker level. I reckon that would look really nice. Here we go. Oh, look at the blue. The blue is really strong with this. Maybe too strong, but yeah. And also the text looks fantastic in this game as well. The extra smoothness sort of works. In the texture-wise, it doesn't work as well, I find. But 
text it looks fantastic and as I said draw distance um, damn look at that truly beautiful stuff and it's like fire oh man it looks awesome I don't know what I even want the thumbnail to be there's just too many potential options here really it's fantastic all the enemies and fortunately no dragonfly eggs here because uh, zebra is the last emulator would, that would ever allow that kind of thing that kind of trickery with the uh, shaders and stuff like that but yeah EPSXE and um, yeah PCSXR reloaded should work or PCSXR which stands for reloaded um, yeah so when you're moving fast you don't notice the like it's mainly if you look close you can kind of see that that attempt to make it smooth and yeah some people like it some people don't as a texture hacker I'd say it probably wouldn't prefer, suit me because I pay a lot of attention to detail with the with the textures so it may sort of smooth over that kind of thing it may gloss over it um, yeah that's a brief look at Spyro 1 obviously you know you guys are going to try this out for yourself it's not about me showing off every level with this you want to do it yourself I will provide now a uh, uh, yeah, I'll provide some footage of Spyro 3. The beautiful home world here. Uh, there's Hunter looking bright as ever. Let's ignore him, I was going Yo, to say. Spyro. Text is okay, but there's these weird bars at the bottom there that don't look quite right. But I see the bar sort of is a bit glitchy like that. You see, look at the top just a little bit. You probably only notice that if you're in uh, 1080p. But yeah, oh, I love it. I love it. When it's darker, the film grain looks more prominent and that's because um well i guess that you can't you know that actually reminds me an awful lot of um what's the game uh, no just in real life when you're doing film stuff okay i reckon that's a really nice picture yeah let's take that this is a it's a good level to show off. I mean, every level is to an extent like every level is a good level to show off. just the extra resolution and blah 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 it looks fantastic right. let's skip you mate thank you I love the pink overall. The pink is pretty much done through lighting. Uh, it's not the actual texture. The actual textures are actually much more neutral colour. Just as a bit of an insight there for you guys. you got to realise how much vertex lighting played a part in these games. And it's something that I'm really glad I've learnt about. Like, you know, just when I thought I knew everything about Spyro, you know, with like level design and stuff like that, I find out about all the texture stuff and that's truly some interesting stuff to look at climb and company has been providing a lot more detail through and stuff like that and also the possibility of being able to mix tracks together like combining two tracks and like fading one in and out i'll talk a bit more about that later you'll be Sorry, let's just say you'll be very excited about uh, what i can do there but shit now i realize i am trapped so i'm going to go down i'm going to show you guys a little trick i mean you probably already know it but Ooh, this is a bit of a glitchy level in terms of texture loading though. Look at it, it's a bit bit prominent, but yeah. Better than what it could be, I guess. It could be worse. Uh, oh shit. Let me show you how to do this, don't. So head onto this one here and then do a running jump and there we go. Again, you've already seen this most likely, but there we go, there's a little secret area. I love how vibrant Spyro looks though. Our son has gone. Yes, thank you, Cumulus or whatever your name was. Oh shit. And uh, yeah, so guys, that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the beautiful colours of Spyro the Dragon. Uh, and I will see you in a new Spyro video, hopefully soon. Hopefully another texture hack. We shall see. See you then, guys.